You can actually get real-time feedback on your story on screen while you're writing it. This is absolutely nuts. Right now on my screen, what you're seeing is the new Google Gemini 2 AI Studio. From what I understand, it's completely free. And I want to show you a few things that it can do. For example, you can talk to Gemini about your story. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. How can I help? I want to write a story about spies, and I need a very interesting and creative, never before heard or seen story idea. Okay, that's an interesting challenge. How about a story about spies who use dreams to transmit secret information instead of traditional methods? That sounds like Inception. Can we come up with something that's different, but also creative? Sure, I can do that. How about a story about spies who are also chefs, using their culinary skills to create coded messages hidden in their meals? I like it. Thanks. Just go to Google AI Studio. Here you can do so many things. I just showed you you could talk to Gemini, come up with a story idea. You can also show Gemini yourself or whatever's in your room or whatever you want to point the camera at. Say if you want to write about a certain setting, you could uh, point the camera at a setting and ask the, uh, the AI tool to describe it for you or to help you describe it in a scene. You can also share your screen, which I think has really cool use cases for coming up with your ideas, for having just a writing assistant that can see what you're doing as you're doing it and help you adjust it and make it better. But anyway, over here, you can change the different uh, models that you're using. Right now, I'm using this Gemini 2 Flash. Um, you can either have an audio conversation or a text conversation, the output. On the voice, you can change. Showed you Puck earlier, so let's go down here to this one. And you can add different tools to this AI, like code execution, function calling, automatic function response, and ground. So we're just going to turn all those on right now just to show you what you can do with this. Let me run through some of the other things you can do. You can create a prompt. You can create a web page for your whole entire library of books and novels or just for one book, for example. And you can just type in something like, let's say, create a web page for my novel about spies. We'll just run that. And we're getting the code right here for this web page automatically, which is pretty cool. And preview it. This is a lot of code that it's creating right now. Get my little recorder out of the way. Go down here. All right. So write text to run prompt. To run prompt, control plus enter. We can edit it. We can move up, delete it, copy rendered, copy marked down, get the code. I was hoping maybe we could preview it, clear chat. We can insert things like images, video folders, files, and audio, which again, is really cool if you want to upload things about your novel, if you want to upload code for a website, if you want to just upload character images. There's a lot that you can do with this part of the tool. So you could copy this and run it and see what kind of website it comes up with. I asked it to, how can I preview or test this? And it sent me to this codepen.io. So I just copy and pasted the HTML. You can see there's a preview down here. Looks pretty basic right now. So let's add the other scripts to it and see what we can find out. So here's the CSS style. Go down here. Let's copy it. Hopefully that'll make it look a lot better. Paste that there. All right, look, it already looks a lot better. Okay, so personally, I think this looks pretty cool. You could obviously change this, change the color scheme, make it look a lot nicer. If you wanted to create some kind of website with coding, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's talk about a couple other use cases. Maybe you want to use one of these starter apps that have already been created here, or you can create your own or use one of these you could also use one of these prompt galleries. Maybe you wanted to add a scavenger hunt feature, maybe an online scavenger hunt to your book marketing. That could be cool related to your story. Again, we can create a web page. You can use this prompt for the marketing of your books. You can come down here. You can modify your writing style, which could be really interesting for writing particular genres, or if you want, you have a favorite author and you want to write like them. Another thing you can do is select data for tuning your AI model. So you can allow drive access if you feel comfortable with that. And then in drive, you can set up folders with your novel, with your plot, with different examples of your writing or just writing styles that you like to tune the model. And you can add a hundred to 500 examples. So you can put a lot of information into your Google drive to train a model 
on your specific writing style. Now, the one thing that I'm most excited about is to share my screen and then to be able to talk to this AI model, this advanced AI model, as I write my story. And I'm very excited about that. So can you see the Gemini tab that's on my screen right now? Yes, I can see the Gemini tab on your screen right now. It displays a conversation with a writing editor and includes some example dialogue. Awesome. Can you serve as a story coach and give me one specific concrete way to improve the dialogue with an example? Yes, I can definitely serve as a story coach. One specific way to improve the dialogue is to add subtext, which is an underlying meaning not explicitly stated. For example, the line, and have you reached a decision, could imply a sense of urgency or pressure, depending on the tone and delivery, which isn't apparent just through reading it. Okay, so how could I add that subtext? To add subtext, you can use a few techniques. You could change the character's tone of voice when delivering the line, or add physical actions that suggest a hidden meaning or emotion. Another way is to let the reader interpret a sense of pressure through the character's word choices. Would you like to explore this further with a more concrete example? Absolutely. Please give me a concrete example of how I would add subtext to that uh, line of dialogue. To add subtext, you could write it as, He met her gaze, a flicker of impatience in his eyes. And have you reached a decision? He asked, his voice tight. Here, the character's impatience and tight voice create a feeling that he's putting pressure on her, even though he hasn't explicitly said so. Does that help illustrate subtext? It sure does. Thank you so much. I wanted to show you one more thing before I go. Google came out with this deep research. You could use this particular model to do some research for your story. Let's say that you're writing a novel about spies, as we are. And we want to research modern spycraft and espionage tools for my novel about spies. So hit submit. And now we're going to see how this deep research can help us research about spies. So here we go. Research websites, modern spycraft research guide. Let's open up more. Find articles and books about modern spycraft, find information. Find examples, fictional examples, analyze results, create a report ready in a few minutes. So you can edit your plan if you don't like that. Perhaps you could add some YouTube videos in there if that makes sense for what you're trying to research. Let's um, start the research. And here we are getting a research report. Okay, look, so we have 62 websites that were researched and we have some educational like org about the ethics of espionage and covert action, the murky law of espionage from the American bar. So these are like reputable sites. We're not just going um, straight to which some rethinking espionage but journal. Look at all of these 62 websites, KGB spy gadgets, the spy movie, five hacker tools that might be hiding in plain sight. New hacker group uses open source tools to spy. So all of this could be information we use for our modern day spy novel, because you definitely want to be updated with the latest information if you're not aware of it already. Spy gadgets, infiltration tests. We got some Wikipedia, but they're down here, not right at the top, which is nice. That, you can find some information there. Just make sure you double check it. 50 best TV shows, spies, major cases, Rotten Tomatoes. All right, so we're still going here. It's still researching, so I'm going to give it a little bit more time, but just wanted to show you where we were at already. Pretty cool. Okay, the research has now stopped. It took you know, a minute or two, but now we have this entire research guide. So we have a summary from all these different sources that we saw about modern spycraft and espionage tools. We have the articles and books that cover that. Technology used, which is really cool. Look how nicely this is laid out. Got your tools, your description, use cases. That could be great for writing scenes or at least inspiring scenes. Communication technology, fiber tools, techniques, social engineering. Look at all this. This is amazing. You could research locations. You could research occupations. You can research character backstories. And then you can open in docs right here and use this research to inspire your story. Now, the thing you could do is you could open this in a doc feed this back into the AI to train it. And then you can instruct the AI to write your story based on that information or to help you come up with ideas for scenes based on that information. And then you can chat about it and create a much more realistic and powerful and compelling story 
based on more accurate details. That's pretty cool. I'll show you one more example about how you could research a maybe perfect location for a scene in your story or for your whole story to take place. I want to tell you the prompt I've used. I'm asking this model to research the best exact and specific location for a climactic battle scene in my spy novel. And I wanted to give a little bit of context so I could get a specific location that would be cool. And that could be something that would make sense for the story, but also something that hasn't been done a million. See what we find out and how this tool handles this specific. I'm very interested to find this out. Okay, so we're going to be looking for exotic locations, history and cultural significance, visually stunning backdrops. I like that. That'll be good for the story. Plus, if it becomes, you know, a movie, then that would be really cool. So let's just start the research and see what we get this time. Exotic location for spy showdown. I like that. Researching all these websites, again, I'll find the very best location. Imagine if you were just trying to do this on your own, you'd have to do a lot of research. These AI tools can make it super simple and you can get like real world information and a great report, hopefully, that will help inform your storytelling. We have our research guide and we have several different scenes or locations we can pick for our scene. And we have one, two, three, four right there. Unique backdrops. We have some more history and intrigue. And we have even more spy locations in New York. because that's one of the major settings I said for the novel. Uh, we could use any of those, which would be cool. Um, location, accessibility, logistical consideration. So these are cool. This is all the different ones that um, it said we could Choose and here are some logistical considerations, which is really cool for trying to figure out which one is the best. So my preferences, it's saying these are the three it suggests, and here's the research. Okay, well, that's pretty good. It's more of gives me some really great ideas that maybe I hadn't thought of before. And if I wanted to go even deeper, I would just choose one of these and say, hey, can you do research on this specific place? And maybe somewhere inside of this would be great. So I like this one because it says that it, it has mountain ranges, ancient cities, and the intriguing land of fire phenomenon. The hillside blazes with natural gas flames that have been burning for centuries. So imagine your spies battling amidst these fiery slopes. That's actually really cool. I'd probably pick that one and go a little deeper with the research, see what I can find out about it, and then write the scene. All of those reasons, I think Gemini, the new Gemini updates are amazing and crazy good for writing and for novels and for books in general. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.